so I just recorded like five seconds of this video and realized I was in a t-shirt and I was like, no, Ashley, this is a self-care video. I should be in a robe. So we're starting over right now. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. I am so excited for today's video. This is a working title, self-care wellness morning routine. I am so excited because today's video is sponsored by Clarence. Big applause for that. I love Clarence. I've worked with Clarence before and I'm so excited to be working with them again. I just think it's beautiful when you find a brand that you click with. We'll dive into the Clarence stuff a little bit later. I've already got my coffee situation going. You guys know how I feel about that. So we're gonna dive right in to the skincare. Self-care can really be absolutely anything that helps you, brings health, brings peace, brings, you know, joy of some kind. For me, self-care has always revolved around skincare. The older I get, the more I've realized how much I love mornings. If you had asked me like a year ago, I probably would have said I would have done stuff like this at night because I was more of a night owl then, I had more energy then. The older I get, the more I realize I love doing stuff like this in the morning because it puts me in a great place for the rest of the day. I never really used to use eye patches until I started having big days like this where I would just let myself just feel like I'm at a spa. I'll let that set for mm, 10 minutes. I'll like make my bed or do a devotional or go get a second cup of coffee or read a book. So I'm gonna go do that and I'll be right back. Okay, it's a little bit later. I don't know if you can tell, but these suckers are kind of dry now. So I'm just gonna peel these off. And this is probably one of the most satisfying feelings on the planet. I absolutely love it. It's like taking a face mask off. Woo! A fun fact about me is that I don't typically use face wash in the morning. And I feel like that's a taboo thing, like I shouldn't tell people that. At some point in my mid 20s, my skin went from combination to more on the dry side. And I watched a lot of YouTube videos on skin at that point because I felt like I was starting to look a little more dry, a little more wrinkly, a little more, all of these things that come with getting closer to the age of 30. Multiple people say that they don't wash their face in the morning because since you're getting out of that hormonal stage, you don't have have as many oils on your face, which makes your face kind of dry. So personally, I've stopped washing my face in the morning. I'll just splash it with some water and call it a day. Again, I'm not telling you guys you have to do that, but that's just where I'm at in my skin routine right now. Once I've splashed water on my face, I'm feeling very refreshed. There's a couple of things I like to do. I like to go in with a toner, always. I have learned that it always has to be a hydrating toner for me. I think that is something that really made a difference in my skin. So I'll just spritz some toner onto my face very gently. And that's that. I'll kind of let that soak in. I don't think you have to do this, but I always kind of just I don't know why, but this is just something I've always done. And there's that. My skin tends to be a little more on the red splotchy side, so I also do a calming mist right after. Let that just kind of do its thing. This is something that I just recently started adding into my morning routine. Eye drops make the biggest difference for me. I have allergies and so we're doing it. I don't have glasses, I don't have eye problems, luckily, knock on wood. I just think it feels so good to just kind of like throw that in the mix as well. After toning and misting my face, I like to go in with a jade roller. Used to think that these didn't do much, and then I just kind of couldn't help but notice I felt like it helped my skin absorb whatever product was on my face at the time. If you haven't used a jade roller before or you think there's not much to it, this could go on for like a minute or this could go on for like 10. It really just depends on my mood. Normally, I would be playing some kind of podcast or music in the background, but since you guys are here, can't do that and get demonetized. <laughs> The biggest thing that I've added into my skincare routine these last like mm, three years are serums and I am a serum fanatic. I love them for whatever reason. I feel like my skin just meshes well with it and I have never had better skin in my life. Okay, so for this next part, I'm gonna take off my necklace. I have this horrible habit of sleeping in all my jewelry. I don't know why, so much better. And then because my under eyes are my biggest insecurity, I always go in with an eye cream. This is just a brightening hydrate eye cream. It's really important to do this next before applying like a serum or moisturizer because this will absorb and do its job first. That's I think the biggest thing I've learned with skincare. Once you apply a product, like let it do its thing first before 
layering stuff on top of it. Always use your ring finger. Bada bing, bada boom. If you apply serum after applying your eye cream, it'll help set the eye cream and kind of keep it in place, allowing the serum to absorb into the rest of your skin. Something that has changed my life dramatically is serums and adding serums into my skincare routine. And I think it makes the biggest difference for my skin, which brings me to the serum I'm using today. This is by Clarins. It's the Double Serum Hydric and Lipidic System. This baby works wonders. I'm a big fan and I'm not just saying it. I've been using this for the past two weeks and my skin is plump. It's one color and it just looks vibrant and glowy. <laughs> and that has never been the case for my skin ever. And I'm not kidding when I say that. If you guys don't know much about Clarins, Clarins has actually been around for 65 plus years. Clarins Double Serum fights the signs of aging, fine lines, wrinkles, loss of firmness, pores, lack of radiance. It makes your skin look visibly firmer, smoother, more radiant. After seven days, it tightens your pores, gives you a more even skin tone, and visibly minimizes fine lines and wrinkles, which is the most important part for me. So there's a bottle in the middle, and then there's the outside serum. Two separate serums in one bottle that when they meet together, work magic. My favorite thing about the serum is it's not super thick. It's actually very light. So you can wear it underneath makeup, or if you don't want to wear makeup, it doesn't feel like it's very heavy on your skin, which is amazing. And then once you dispense it, the two serums combine together and are super easy for your skin to absorb. Clarins has a very specific application method. The first step is to warm it in your hands like so, and then gently just press it into your skin. I had no idea until very recently that I had been applying all my serums wrong. I would just rub, rub, rub it into my skin, and apparently that's the wrong way to do it. And then personally, whatever I put on my face goes on my neck and on my chest as well, just to make sure we have an all over even <laughs> thing going on. And then the third step is to drain, which is basically to just press in a repetitive motion across your face. You can start at your cheeks. I usually start right here. And press my way out, do that a few times. And I'll go to my forehead. Same thing. My skin always gets red when I do this. <laughs> Then I'll do the same thing to my neck and decollete like so. This pressing technique helps stimulate lymphatic drainage, which rids your skin from toxins and is nothing but good for you. So once the serum has soaked in and done its thing, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with some moisturizer. This is also by Clarins. This is the Multi-Active Jour. It targets fine lines and it's an antioxidant day cream for all skin types. Smells great, that's just a side note. You don't need a lot, but the application technique is the same. Warm it up and press it into your skin. Applying the moisturizer after the serum helps both the serum and the moisturizer to absorb even more deeply into your skin, which is the key. So always be sure to go in that order. You didn't know you were gonna get a lesson in application, did you? Just call me Professor Ashley. You can go ahead and do the same thing with the draining technique, doing the repetitive pressing, ridding yourself of all of those toxins that are in your skin. Amazing! A little toy that has become one of my absolute favorite things is this face fan. Taryn got me this a few months ago, actually. If you watch my vlogs, I probably showed you already, but this is a cool little tool. If you have something on your face, any kind of product, and you want it to just absorb quicker or dry off a little quicker, this little baby is the tool for you. I usually just turn it on and sit here and scroll on my phone until whatever products on my face is absorbed. Next thing, because I never want to forget hair, I have been not doing heat to my hair for a while and I'm very excited. I feel like my hair is finally starting to grow. However, I feel like my ends always need help. I don't know if that's everyone or if it's just me, but my ends always feel slightly dry. So I'm going to put on a hair oil. I'm gonna make sure there's no product on my hands. This is a quick drying hair oil, so it's not super thick and sticky. I have more of like fine hair, so if I put on too much hair oil, it's usually pretty obvious and then my hair just looks greasy. This has been helping a lot. I'm gonna go ahead and just brush out the ends. This is one of my favorite lip oils. This is actually also by Clarence. That's just a happy coincidence. I've used this oil for a long time, actually, since the last time I worked with them. It just has a little bit of a red tint. It looks extremely red, but it doesn't go on that way. It actually goes on pretty clear. I think it's the most hydrating thing, and I love how it smells. It smells like roses. Okay, now for makeup. When I have days like this, I hate putting on a ton of makeup. It's not my favorite thing because I feel like my face is so fresh and so clean right now, but if I feel like I do need some kind of something, Thing. Here's what I do. Apply a little bit of a tinted moisturizer, not a lot. Tinted moisturizers 
are very light. This one has SPF in it, which is also going to help my skin. And it's not full coverage, which I like because I don't want to apply this thick layer of makeup onto my skin after I just spoiled it, you know? But a little bit of color is nice, <laughs> I'll admit it. But especially if I don't have anywhere to go, tinted moisturizers are my favorite. You just have to find one that fits your skin well and also is like the right color. Cause I've gotten some in the past that just didn't match well. Cause I didn't care to match it like you would a foundation, but you do. Does that make sense? I won't use a brush or anything. I'll just use my fingers and just kind of blend it into my skin, pulling it onto my neck. I don't know if you guys can tell, but my skin already feels a lot more of the same color. I feel like I could have said that easier. My skin looks like it's one color is what I was trying to say. And that's really all I want. I don't want a thick face, not on days like this. To add a little bit of definition to my face, I will go in with a liquid blush. Just kind of tap it up, always up, never down like this. Again, we're going for extremely natural. Hopefully that gives you an example. And I just kind of dab it, dab it. Just kidding, it wasn't funny. Dab it in like that. I'm just adding a little bit of color to my face, that's it. Again, in an effort to minimize the amount of makeup I put on, I'm not gonna use a pencil. I'm not going to fill in my brows heavily. I'm just gonna go in with a brow gel, which is one of my favorite things because it takes zero effort. I basically just brush all my hairs in place and try to fill in a little bit so it just looks a little bit more fuller. These are microbladed, but they're a year and a half old, so they're very faded. I do personally recommend microblading because I think it made the biggest difference. Without makeup, you can see my brows. And that's all I really wanted in life. So cool, there are the brows. I'm sure you can already tell a huge difference. And then finally, a little mascara never hurt nobody. I always go in with a setting spray. Maybe add a little bit more of this. And there you go, that is my self-care wellness morning routine get ready with me working title video hopefully you guys liked this this gave you some kind of inspiration a huge thank you to clarence for working with me yet again and i'll see you guys in the next video bye